and we were very clear what we wanted, the direction we want to go, and we provided the support. And then when we came, as we said, we started early. When the care package was launched, we were able to marry both and to, to elaborate right to then. So we were thinking short term, but also long term. One of the more specific activities that we've done so far is to do an adaptation stock take or that's currently ongoing and we are planning to have both processes aligned and so for example some of the work that will continue with, with respect to the NDC and also with the CAPE activities we want to ensure that there is alignment with what also will be taking place under the NAP process. For example, there is the long-term emission strategy as well as the research that the research program that will be undertaken. We want to ensure that even though it's primarily relating to the NDC, that there are alignment and synergies with the adaptation portfolio. And hopefully when we have the two aligning, we will have greater implementation and greater benefits accruing to the people of Jamaica. This was a one-year process. We started in July last year. We submitted on the 30th of June, exactly one year. And we had the widest stakeholder consultation of anything that we have ever done in, in the Planet Agenda. We segmented our stakeholders. We had focus group discussion. We had sector um, discussions. We had combined discussions. We had webinars. We, envelope our stakeholders in the entire process and at the end if you notice that we had finally before even it went to cabinet a stakeholder briefing to say this is what it is and everybody was happy went to cabinet no problem even as a vulnerable small island development state we are able to make a positive contribution to the reduction of GHGs, no matter how small the percentage is. The second is that whilst doing our uh, analytical work, we were able to involve members of the private sector, the public sector, civil society, and through all that analytical work, we were able to achieve a total reduction of 60% in absolute value when we compare that to the first NDC. In the first NDC that Jamaica did, adaptation was recognized as very important, but the focus was largely on the mitigation aspects of what we're doing to contribute to global emissions reductions. In this updated NDC, what we are trying to do is to identify the adaptation co-benefits of the sectors that have been identified as priority. When we look, for example, at renewable energy and land use change and forestry, we see that there are some adaptation co-benefits there. But even for those sectors where there are no quantified emissions reductions, we have been able to recognize their co-benefits as well. And we speak primarily of the waste sector as well as agriculture. 